In today's video, I will be sharing with you all how I get rid of the dark spot. That was an amber alert. Aww. Hey, hey, it is Victoria Victoria. If you are new to my channel, welcome, and please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. In today's video, I will be sharing with you all how I get rid of the dark spots under my arms. I've been dealing with this issue forever. I wanna say, like, late middle school, early high school, so I am not new to this. I just have really sensitive skin. I'm very keloid prone. Um, I am stretch mark prone. I have really, really dry skin. I even have keloids from when I got my ears pierced. So I just have really, I'm just prone. <laughs> I will be showing you what I use in order to get rid of the dark spots. So stay tuned. It's coming up next. Okay. So I just want to show you guys the ingredients that I use. I'm not going to pretend that this video is like totally random because I actually really need to do this, but let me show you guys what I use. I use the baking soda, um, Arm & Hammer baking soda. You can pick it up from anywhere. This is a fantastic exfoliant as well as honey. Honey is beautiful for the skin, especially on your face too. It's great for lightening and brightening and it leaves a glowy complexion for your face. If you ever want to use this in combination with turmeric, which is what we'll be using as well, this works as a great face mask and amazing under the arms. Also use lemon. Lemon is also great for lightening this skin it is very high in limonene especially the peel and this is the game changer for me like I said I've been suffering with this for a long time and I tried many different ingredients many different formulas and mixtures but this right here heavy whipping cream worked amazing I picked mine up from Whole Foods and um, they actually use this in India it's like India knows everything, right? But they actually use this in India. They call it Malay. They use the fat from this, either Malay or Malai. But anyway, they use the fat from this, and this helps to get rid of dead skin cells as well as lightening the skin in that area. Like I said, this was a game changer, but I'm going to go ahead in the bathroom and show you guys how I use this. I'm going to make a paste and show you guys how this works, and I'm going to do this for three days. It only takes about three days. Um, before I started using the heavy whipping cream with this it would take I want to say maybe like two weeks but when I added the heavy whipping cream game changer so I'm gonna go ahead to the bathroom and make this paste and be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because I have a little get giveaway for you guys so stay tuned and come on let's go okay guys so let's get started on this mask so the first thing you want to add is baking soda and I'll put the exact measurements in the description box because I'm not really I've been doing it for so long now I just kind of wing it <laughs> so next you want to add in some turmeric and you don't have to do it in this exact order you can do it in any order you like but next I add turmeric and then after that I'll go in with the heavy whipping cream and I just pour in about this much of heavy whipping cream and then after that I go in and I add the lemon and I'm gonna use uh, no honey I'm gonna use honey next so I'm just gonna pour in some honey and this looks so good like I want to eat this <laughs> whenever I make these do it yourself I always want to eat it but anyway then you want to go in and add lemon and I'm just gonna use a whole lemon in two halves I'm gonna use this old rusty lemon squeezer that I've had like forever and I love the way this fizzes up like an elementary school project like a science project <laughs> and this is the other half of the lemon I'm just gonna add this in as well and then after you add that in, you just want to stir it really, really well. And also be careful with using turmeric. It will stain. So if you get your fingers and fingernails in this, it will stain your fingernails. So be careful. I have done this and it has been horrible. It does not come off. And also be careful with your clothing as well. But you want to stir it really, really well. And it's kind of going to have a mousse type of texture. So it's going to be thick but airy very much so like a mousse and you just want to stir it really really well and get it blended well final texture should look just like this now once you get it stirred pretty well get it mixed well um, what you want to do is what I like to do is take the back of the spoon and then use it to apply it to my arm 
So let me show you guys what my armpit looks like now. Kind of embarrassing, but we're all sharing here. And if you look at it closely, you can see it's not so bad right now. If I let it go longer, it'll be like way worse. But you'll see the brown areas at the top and kind of like around the edges. And that's what I'm trying to get rid of. I have really sensitive skin so if I don't tackle this now it'll just get worse and worse so what I like to do is take the back of the spoon otherwise it's really sloppy and then apply it that way if you have gloves that'll be perfect so you won't stain anything and also make sure whatever you're wearing you don't really care about so much that you could easily toss it because if it gets stained it's not coming out and so like I'd like to apply it just like this in circular motions and making sure I'm getting all of the areas covered that needs to be lightened. After you apply it to your first arm, you can switch over to the next arm and let this air dry or let it dry for about 10 minutes. I keep this on. After about 10 minutes, I'll go ahead and wipe this off with a cloth. So these are my results after three days. On the left is day one and on the right is day three. Pretty good. And there you have it guys. I hope you all have enjoyed this video today. Please be sure when you are going in to remove the mask from under your arm that you're using a washcloth or a rag and going in circular motions because that's going to help with exfoliating. And as far as the giveaway, I wanted to give away this bamboo charcoal body scrub by Shea Moisture. It looks like that. It is fantastic. I use this every day under my arms in the shower. And so let me tell you what it contains. It has African black soap as well as bamboo charcoal and tea tree oil so in order to win this all you have to do is subscribe to this channel give this video a big thumbs up and put in the comment section I want that and I will randomly select a winner also follow me on Instagram my Instagram name is at a underscore beauty underscore beast and I'll see you guys in the next video bye